Welcome to the Ignite tutorial. Ignite is our file management system that we use to save and work on files that get saved to the cloud and can be used pretty much anywhere and on any device. If you were with us from the SolidSync days, you're going to remember that. Um, this is an upgrade from it, and if you're new to UltraTest, this is something like Microsoft OneDrive or Google Docs. Um, you would have received an email to your ultra test inbox. Um, I'm just doing a test file here, so it should say something from Juan Cortez or whoever's inviting you. I'd like to share files with you. Uh, you're going to accept the invitation, and that'll take you to the main site for Ignite to register yourself. Um, more than likely, we've already set up a username for you, which would have come in the invite and uh, this just allows you to set up your user profile. Um, so select set up your account, basically follow the prompts. This is a test account for me, so I'm just going to create some sort of test password. Of course I went two week of a password, so it's not going to let me. Um, let me just do a quick change on this. Okay, so if you want to put your profile picture, go for it. If not, it's not imperative. I'll give you a quick tutorial of how you can find things. The idea is, is basically a desktop field, but online as well as uh, the desktop itself. So just click on next or, or go through the information that it lets you look through. And basically this gives you your web look of, of what's shared with you. Um, your administrator or, or supervisor has probably set you up on certain folders that exist. Uh, in this case, this account is already set up to clients and safety folder. Um, safety folder obviously being you know, we want you guys to have access to the forms, so just follow the prompts. If you need to find a form to fill out, you know, go through here, and whatever is listed is, is what you have access to. Uh, clients here, it's showing me clients that this particular user is attached to, so if, if there's any information on there, you can just click through and, uh, and find either the project you're working on um, or or client information in this case you know this is the tech tech access to a Goodman Steel job 2018 job 5 etc etc you have job information drawings pictures UT data that may be generated your reports whether they're Excel or, or final copy and then same thing with your lens um, everything is to exist only on ignite that way, in the event your computer is lost or stolen or broken, the data that's on there is at least stored off the, the hardware itself, and, uh, and we can still access the information that you had um, either online or, or downloaded to a different computer. Now, to install this as a desktop option, you need to go to the top right here for apps and add-ons. Click on that select Ignite Apps, and you're selecting the middle option that comes up, and that's the Desktop Sync. So download that. Just take a moment to complete the download. Okay, once it's done downloading, it'll give you the option to run. I suggest you go through that process, follow the prompts that come up, where do you want to save it, whether you use your C drive or D drive or other existing drives. Allow it to make the changes. It's a relatively quick install because it's just the executable really that it's running. Uh, nothing is, is downloading as far as files online yet. Once it's done installing, just click finished and it'll automatically take you to connect your desktop application or desktop software to the, the online server. So if I can remember correctly what my password and login was, 
enter that here. And the domain here is ultratest.ignite.com. This will also be in the description of, of the video um, down below. So just take a look at that if, if you need it. Okay, once you've successfully logged in, it's going to ask you to select which folders you want to synchronize to the computer. Now, in some users' cases, you might only want certain folders to be web viewable. Um, maybe they're extremely large and, uh, and not worth the download or looked at infrequently. That's kind of your option. If, if I strongly suggest selecting the client's folder because if you're in a field project, the, all the information and locations where you need to save your files are going to be in there. So I strongly suggest you at least select clients. Um, safety folder, again, it's kind of uh, important for you to have access to any forms that might exist for safety for different scenarios, jobs that you're on, etc. So that's that's a strong, strong requirement. If you just click on the shared, uh, everything that's in there and anything that's added in the future will automatically download to your to your computer so your choice if you want to select that but uh, in, in this case we're going to go ahead your private folder is random documentation or files that may not necessarily fall anywhere under the the company hierarchy if you want it to be saved and at least a backup of it to exist uh, you can select the private folder um, that's kind of up to you, not really necessary, but just remember anything that's on the desktop and not in this system has the potential to be lost, uh, whether it's corrupted or stolen or, or your, your computer breaks. Um, if it's not saved on Ignite, there is no backup. So just uh, user beware. So click on save. And it's going to go through a process of syncing whatever is currently set up to my profile, and it's going to download down into the, the this computer's uh, hard drive. So just clicked on open folder, and it's going to show you. You know, here's the desktop sync readme. You know, I suggest you you go through this just to, so you understand a little bit more about how this works, how to access, how syncing files works. Um, what options you have with right click, etc. Uh, one of the big things here that we're going to show you on, on syncing files, if you try and move a file out of the existing folder that it's in, more than likely, depending on your user type, it's you're going to get uh, an error. It'll create a duplicate file that you've moved um, that will basically be stored on your local machine, but whatever was existing previously and shared through the company will still remain. Pretty much the only way to fix that is to delete the files you moved or or, or copy paste something back into the original files, but the restriction is set to high on being able to move files out of existing folders that are shared with you. So it, it can happen, but uh, you will notice on your bottom toolbar and the sync section that uh, that there's going to be options so if you look at the bottom right of the screen that's kind of what you'll see as the ignite sync you know whether it's it's, it's syncing or or completed or if there's an issue uh, you'll see the notice there and we'll just wait while this downloads so again this is the shared file that was shared with me i can open that as my on my desktop Basically, clients, you know, say I'm going to do a job for Parkland Manufacturing 2018. There's an existing job 02. This is the tech folder access, and any pertinent information or, or generated files will be stored and worked on in here. So that's, uh, that's the basic install and setup of Ignite onto your systems. Um, if you have any questions, please contact your administrator or supervisor. And uh, if you have any other questions on other types of processes, please have a look at the options on the, uh, on the YouTube videos available. Thank you. Take care.